Hey everyone, I have here on me the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. So one of the coolest things the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and the standard edition Mate 10 can do is it can be a desktop uh, computer, it can function as a desktop computer. So you might be asking yourself, Samsung Galaxy S8 and Note 8 can already do the same thing. But on a Samsung device, you have to buy a dock, that uh, Samsung DeX, which is like 100 bucks US. With the Huawei Mate 10, you don't have to buy that. You all you have to do is plug in the USB-C cable to an HDMI out on the other end, and that's all you need. So I have here on me HDMI cable that's connected to the TV. And this is just a, gen a generic dock with a USB-C in. So plug in the USB-C cable. And I plug in the HDMI cable, and it should change in five seconds. So you see EM UI desktop. So now, boom, you get the full desktop experience. So you see here the um, the phone becomes a trackpad, so I can move the mouse arrow by swiping on the phone, and then double tap to open Chrome. And this is another thing that makes the Mate 10 a lot better than the Galaxy S8 as a desktop is that when I can back out and I can still use this phone. So the phone is completely functional, fully functional. I can like go on Instagram and all of that while desktop is still running. So now how do I use desktop if the phone is not in trackpad mode? You just have to plug in a USB-C mouse and keyboard. So So that's it, I've set everything up, it should be working. Yep, so the wireless mouse is indeed working. As you can see right now, the Chrome, this Chrome here is a, is a desktop version of Chrome with, with different tabs. Where did my mouse arrow go? So you can open different tabs. The keyboard works. So you even get this annoying pop-up ad on scmp.com because of this is a desktop site. So you see that I have access to all my files here, like a typical file folder that you would find on a PC or a Mac. And then I can access my uh, camera gallery, photo gallery. And then right here should be all my apps. Okay, that's not all my apps. So do you have access to Google? I think you can get your other apps elsewhere. I don't know. So down here um, on the bottom right corner, you have the typical Android buttons. That's kind of funny. The Android navigation buttons. So let's check out Chrome scrolling really quick. So as you can see, the pages load a little bit slower than, than you would on, on like a proper PC or, or Mac, but it's fully functional. Like when you're scrolling, there's a little bit of a frame rate drop, but not too bad. Actually, no, I think it might just be this website. So now I go on a cleaner website, ringer.com. Okay, apologies Huawei, so that was SCMP's fault. So now I'm on ringer.com, this site is loading a lot faster, even GIFs. Play. Can you play video embedded Twitter videos? Embedded YouTube video. Yep, so um, it's playing Stephen A. Smith. Okay, so as long as you're on a good website, scrolling is fast and smooth. And you can you can multitask, you can have a you can resize resize window, I believe. Yep, you can resize all windows. And then open the gallery right here. Let's see if I can play a video. Wow, oh, surfing cool. So I'm on the drums right here. This is my these are my friends. 
Yeah. Yep, so I'm surfing the web while watching the video. So, uh, I haven't tested this long enough to see how it Im impacts battery life, but it shouldn't be an issue because you can also charge the phone while you are you are using the desktop mode, and plus you're not going to use this desktop for like three hours anyway. This is something for like emergency situations or if you're traveling and you need to like, I don't know, type a paper or something. So this is the Huawei Mate 10 Pro right here, and this EMUI's desktop, it's very impressive, and it just made Samsung's decks look completely um, ridiculous. Sorry, Samsung. 